Fox TV. Welcome to another installment of WGS TV right here on YouTube.com slash Russell Gamer and FX TV. I'm Double B, Billy Bouchon. This is going to be my main event review for the week of December 5th, 2012. As it was made known yesterday on WWE.com, they made the official announcement tonight on main event about the injury sustained by CM Punk, the partially torn meniscus, where he had to have emergency surgery. Therefore, according to the chairman of the board, Vince McMahon, the matchup at TLC between Ryback and CM Punk will be, not be taking place. But we will find out just exactly what match will be happening later on in the show. So let's t let's get to this week's featured match. It's the Intercontinental Champion, Kofi Kingston, taking on the United States Champion, Antonio Cesario. And that added bonus, we had Wade Barrett and R-Truth on commentary, the, the respective challengers for each championship. And... They were doing a really good job on commentary. I really thought they did well, you know, because if you look at it this way, you know, tag team tag team matches aren't the only way where you can have a dual build in one match. You can also have that on in a match where the challengers are on commentary, and we saw that tonight in the form of Barrett and R Truth being on commentary. So I thought it was an okay um, match. Now. Again, just like before, we've never, no, we haven't really seen a clean finish, and I don't think we would ever see a clean finish between t uh, champion versus champion. You know, would the Intercontinental Championship be more important, or the United States uh, Championship be more important? You know, and that's what people would tend to think if we saw a clean finish between Kofi Kingston and Antonio Cesario. But in WWE's true form and fashion, we did not see that clean finish because Wayne Barrett ran in uh, during the singles match and attacked Kofi Kingston, which prompted R-Truth to respond and then for laid out a challenge to a tag match. You know, the tag match we were supposed to see on Monday Night Raw between R-Truth and Kofi Kingston versus Wade Barrett and Tony Cesario before it got made into a fatal four-way courtesy of Teddy Long. Now, I want to say this, the way they did this tonight really made a lot more sense, and I thought it was a, a much better way to build into a tag match than just having there and presenting it as a dual build between the Intercontinental Championship match and the United States Championship match. You know, and I gotta say, I was very impressed, I thought this was a very great entertaining match, and... I really can't see anything bad about it. You know, we saw our truth get the win over Antonio Cesario. Now, nine times out of ten, when we see the challenger go over on the champion before the pay per view, then we'll say about roughly about 95% of the time, we see the champion go over on the challenger at the pay per view. Now, will this be, in fact, one of those instances where it, you know the reverse will happen and? Archers become the United States champion? I don't know. It's, it's very hard to say. Very hard to say indeed, but, you know, time will tell, you know, whether I'm right or wrong about it. But uh, anyway, we had a, this was a great match. This is basically our second match. You know, the featured match was Antonio Cesario versus Kofi Kingston, which then evolved into the tag match between the former tag team champions, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth taking on Way Barrett and the United States champion, Antonio Cesario. And great, great set of matches. I thought this was honestly a little, a, a lot better than last week's one. Even though, you know, it was huge seeing John Cena make his Eye on Television debut last week on WWE Main Event. It was against Damian Sandow, and the secondary match was Antonio Cesario versus Zack Ryder. So... I gotta say, I really liked this this week's main event. Um, the, I'm gonna give, go ahead and give it an overall score now, so I can, way I can get to uh, the the rest of Vince McMahon's message and what next week's featured match is gonna be. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I thought the first off, the singles match was great. Having Wade Barrett and R-Truth on commentary was indeed a really good thing to hear, and then for them to take it to the next level and actually produce the tag match that 
I guess we originally were supposed to see on Monday Night Raw, but it ended up becoming the Fatal 4-Way. I think that was a great way and a good thing for WWE to do, especially with main event. And um, honestly, the only reason why I, I even said it to the guys on Skype that I normally talk to uh, while I'm watching wrestling, the only reason why I watch I on television is for WWE main event. I don't watch anything else on there. I don't, I don't know if that says anything bad about Iron Television, but the channel just does not intrigue me, except for WWE main event. And I've yet, the only one I've, the only main event I've really missed was the Halloween one, just because it took my kid brothers out trick-or-treating that night. But, um, anyway, back to main event for this week. Again, it uh, gets a 4 out of 5. Again, very entertaining. It was great to have Miz back on commentary. It hasn't missed a step. And, you know, incidentally, though, we also heard... Uh, a response by Miz to the actions of the Shield, and he wasn't ta he didn't take too kindly to the Shield's actions. So now the second half of Vince McMahon's message, you know, again he's got a portionally torn meniscus. Does CM Punk required emergency surgery yesterday? The WWE Championship match at TLC is out. However, we will still have a TLC match at Tables, Ladders, and Chairs pay per view. For the first time ever, we're going to have a six-man TLC match. It's going to feature The Shield taking on Team Hell No and Ryback. And for the first time ever, the stipulation for this TLC match, because technically there are no titles on the line in a TLC match. Normally when we see a TLC match, we see a title that's on the line, whether it be an Intercontinental title, WWE Championship, you know, Tag Team Championship, whatever. It's always been a title on the line, but in this instance, we do not have a championship on the line. So we, they have to have the added stipulation, because it only makes sense that the only way the match can be won is by pinfall or submission. So, it'll be very interesting to see the way that pans out. And speaking of Ryback, he will be involved in next week's WWE's main event, it, as the featured bout for next week will be Ryback taking on the Mexican aristocrat, Former WWE Champion Alberto Del Rio. And um, some of the guys I talked to on Skype already had their thoughts on who was going to go over. And uh, let's just say Ryback's going to be eating Mexican next week is what they're thinking. So, what I want to know from you guys out there, the viewers and subscribers, your thoughts on WWE main event this week. And also your reactions to the announcement of CM Punk not, uh, having to go through emergency surgery and will not... I repeat, will not be able to go through with his WWE Championship match at TLC with Ryback. Put your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to YouTube.com slash WrestleGamer and YouTube.com slash TV Network. So with that being said, I'm Double B. Billy Bujo saying I got an unfortunate update about my Xbox. For those of you who wonder why, well, let me just quickly explain what happened. Xbox Live was for, uh, was doing one of their mandatory updates, and for some inane reason, my Xbox failed to download the update. And after the second time that it, it failed to download, the Xbox shut off completely and will not respond to anything. All the cables are in place, I have unplugged it and plugged it into different sockets, and I've checked it time in and time out, and the Xbox will not respond. So, I, I have no idea what's going on with that. If you guys have any thoughts about that, uh, please feel free to help out too. But good news, guys and gals, as I still have my PlayStation 3. So, I will not be short on gameplay videos for you guys. So, I just want to bring that to you guys' attention. If you start noticing, uh, you know, the PlayStation side of video games, and a large abundance of it coming soon to WGS TV. So, again... Like I said, if you guys have any thoughts uh, on my current situation, it, again, it would really help out. And also any thoughts on WWE Main Event this week. Be sure you put your comments in the comment section below. So with that being said, I'm Double B, Billy Boudreau, saying thank you very much for watching.